Hi, welcome to Get Fit. Today, here comes an athlete who is super competitive not only in his sports but also in his life. And he is our national karate athlete, Shamin Jun Raghunathan. Shamin has been doing karate for more than a decade. And he has been the captain of Malaysia karate team since 2014 until today. Listening to his achievement made me proud as a Malaysian. And I'm really glad to hear that Malaysian athletes hold such a high international standard of technique and strategy in this field. Sharmin also holds a coaching license that he is currently a head coach of the Selangor Kibokan karate team. Our country has also acknowledged his achievement that he received a BKS title, which stands for Bintang Kecemelangan Sukan from Duli Yang Maha Let's leave the rest of the introduction to Charmin himself. Shall we? Let's go. Hi, I'm Sharminder Raghunathan, Malaysia Karate Athlete. I'm a World Cup winner 2014 and uh, two times Asian medalist and uh, three times SEA Games champion in a row. As you know, karate, uh, we need really, really uh, high performance skill level, like a muscular endurance, uh, physical endurance, strength, power. The rules, new rules uh, for the karate, now we have six, seven rounds, like a round robin. Uh, you have to be very, very physically fit. So usually what we do, we do run, power endurance training, and skill. Skill will be happens here in karate dojo. Power endurance will be happen track in the gym. That's why we train. Okay, why I choose karate? Uh, it's like an interesting question. I mean, those days when I was very young, I think I don't really like to study. <laughs> That's the only main reason I really choose sport. And uh, I was very active. Uh, from 14, I was playing football. I was doing karate since I'm 10. So I think sport something is very important and make me so happy to do every day. The way to succeed my dream, to represent country, the pathway is much more easier than I choose football. When I was 18, I already represent the country for the junior level. I mean, obviously, I didn't really know about how far I'm going to go. When it comes to healthy lifestyle, I think why you should be healthy. You wake up in the morning, go for a run, like a small jog, 20 minutes, uh, do some yoga session. It's not only about karate, so you can do any any sport. All these kind of things is possible now. It depends whether you are or not. I mean, keep your body healthier and active. It gives you so much of benefit for your future. All right, everyone. So do you know why we are here today? Yes, because we would love to believe that everybody can get fit. Yes. So let's introduce yourself to the audience. Hi, I'm Nur Amira. Hi, my name is Nur Martin. Hi, my name is Rain. Hi, I'm Ember. Amira here. All right. So although we are all new to karate here today, but I think that we can definitely learn one thing or two from our national karate athlete so that we can apply some of the exercises in our daily routine to live a healthier life. Okay, shall we? Yes, yes go! Okay, we go now. It's the most interesting part where we're going to do some physical uh, exercise. And it's going to be interesting. We have, uh, this is dummy, as we have throws. Free works, punches and kicks. The dummy also, you can punches and throw. This is going to be fundamental, basic stuff. So before that, I'm going to show you how to uh, all, do it, all these kind of things. Okay, if you see like, a, I don't know, you can put any name for this. <laughs> okay, for your information, this is 50 kg. 50 kg of dummy. I always have technique. If you go to the gym, if you lift deadlift, you don't lift the ears, right? Same, you put your back straight, lock your back and carry. That's how you carry like deadlift. Same, goes here. You cannot carry like a hatch up. It's going to hurt your back. So when you carry this dummy, lock your back, stay straight, hold here. Don't hold here, it's like a, the dummy will fall. <laughs> so hold in the middle, carry come up. Okay. Carry come up, from here you throw. You can throw like this. <laughs> or you, same, you can carry up, you can throw from up. 
So uh, I see like the throwing is like judo wrestling kind of movement. Is this uh, part of it as well in karate? I mean, judo and uh, judo wrestling is totally different. In karate, we only use one hand. Mm. For now, we use dummy because if we don't want to throw our partner, I mean, our partner gets tired. So that's why we use dummy. And in wrestling, they wrestle, you know? Uh -huh. for, for karate, we only... You hold, you have two seconds. One, two, you have to throw. So that's oh. why we carry, we hold, we throw. Oh. So that's how it works. Okay. So this is going to be first first station for you guys. Uh -huh. So next session will be focus meet. We go focus meet. Usually we work on the partners or coaches usually uh, hold the meets. Uh, if you see like uh, they do drills, right? We don't do drills, but usually we do for the focus meet where like you put here, put here, punch and kick. I think uh, the host can help me a bit. It's going to be very basic. I'm not going to uh, tell you like, oh, okay, punch straight like this, kick straight like this. It's going to be very easy. Uh -huh. So it's going to be like a left hand, okay. besides your left hand, right hand, right hand, left kick, anyway, right kick, easy. So it's going to be right hand, so it's left leg. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's going to be mixed. It's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be one, two, three, four. No, no. I'm going to uh, uh, exercise a bit, mm -hmm. punch and kick. Is that about it? You don't need to be like a very. Uh, don't punch very strong. Uh, make sure whenever you punch, make sure your hand is close. Lock your wrist. If you hurt like this, it's going to be very painful. So like since that striking, right? Like like punching. Mm -hmm. Do we use glove in karate? Of course, we have glove. Glove. We always use glove during uh, fights. Uh, we have gloves, body protector, a shin guards uh -huh. uh, for the full acumen, that's all. And uh -huh. obviously, it's mouth guard. Uh -huh. Sorry, I mean, you know mouth guard, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Mouth, uh, biting, yeah. So, uh, we have that. So, it sounds like MMA because like they wear like guard and then they wear gloves as well. Just no, they don't wear gi. So, is that any difference? No, no. It's not MMA, actually. MMA, there's full contact. Uh -huh. For us, we can't really punch them, make it oh. KO. We always have to control. Uh -huh. Okay, this is station number three. Uh, this is your other friend. After, usually, we do like a specific uh, striking in the mids. You have uh, pre-works where you can just stand here. You focus, you can do like a... There, we do single, single, right? So you can, here, you can do combo. Mm. You know, punch, kick. You can do double kick. Or du du double kick, you can do here. You can do here. Okay, guys, this is station number four. When it comes to karate, everything starts from leg. We punch here, no, we punch from the leg. So that's how we start. So when you want to develop your footwork, all this basic stuff, we, we understand. This is karate san. So we move according to the, our uh, fighting position. So we go in, we go out. We go in, we go out. This is what we go, you're going to do. But take it easy. Usually, more I don't want guys to work like a fast one. Wow. So I know it's kind of difficult, but you, you just take it easy. You just can do one at a time. You go in, come out. Go in, come out. Go in, come out. We have two more stations, station number six and seven, which is going to be very easy, where you're going to work on your muscle, activate your quads, body weight squats. Body weight squats, you know, put your hand here, free hand, or you can put here, or put here, it's up, totally up to you. Just go down and come out. Uh, just squat to activate your quads. And next, number six will be push up. So female can put your knee down. So something like this. Knee down, then you go down. If you feel hard, guys definitely on the uh, without knee, you go down and push up. If you want more advanced, you can go down. Climb. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> there's everything that's advanced. There's a beginner, intermediate, advanced. So this is a timer where it's going to be something like this, 10 seconds. I'll show you 10 seconds you work. So three, two, this is the duration for you to work. So this next beep, five seconds you rest. Station, uh, change the station for station one. Then you work again, 10 seconds. Punch, punch, footwork, uh, push up, squat. Once this 10 seconds finish, next bell, you switch the station. Ready? Okay, go. Right hand, left hand.
Right leg to the face. Oh, oh so high. Let's go. Right hand. Right leg to the face. Do it once, like it. right hand, left hand, peak. Two, three, that's good. Yeah. So now is the segment that we will talk about mental exercises. So let's see what uh, Shamin has prepared for us. Oh, yeah, as, just now as I saw, like, uh, I want more related to the sports, you know. I have some something just like a, like a puzzle. Ooh. So it's puzzle, which is you have to put it, put it together. Uh, you can be a team. Uh, probably I'll give you a minute. You should make a tea. Big tea, not small tea. Okay. Big tea. Here, there you go. Try. Let's go. Who wants to go? I'll give you one minute, okay? One minute? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Tea, bigger tea. Big tea. Big. Capital T. Mm. No, everything oh. has to be matched. <laughs> everything has to be matched. Let's go, let's go. Ten seconds. Let's go. Take it out first. Five. Faster, Four. Three. Two. Five. Are you so much tea? I mean, more or less tea. <laughs> So that's how it looks, these. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, so tired. <laughs> so probably things this this uh, puzzle didn't make relevant to my sports. That's how we train for the, our mental things, you know. So you know, like you more focused, like very focused, then definitely you can do it. As much we, we train our physical, the same amount of uh, mental we have to train. All this one part of psychology. Uh, it's the other part where you control your emotion inside the ring. Where you know sometimes so someone punch you, like you get emotional. Karate, you can't do that. If you get emotional, I mean, I mean, they will be very smart to get over us, you know? I think like in sports that requires like uh, the athlete to fight, it's very situations. I don't know whether you guys know this story. That's like a very, I mean, long story in short. There's like a two competitors in the same, same country, like a rivalry, like a you and me, same country, high jumper. Before, like a, we would jump like a 10 meter, 10 meter, 20, 20. Next will be 15, 15. I go to her, I say, you can't do it. I'm a teammate, you know? I'm a teammate, I go to, like, a, this is Olympic, Olympic final, I go to her, like, hey, you know, you can't make it. Even though you know you can jump, but someone destroy you like, like this, like, million of seconds. Mm. That's why you have to, see, when you do this, when I, when I say, like, hey, think out of the box, probably you don't hear me, you know? you like, you are more focused to do that. You have to be, like, a, how to say it? Like, you take glass off, you just put yourself and just close it down. No any distractions come since. So it's always you and your, your fight. We have gone through like some physical and mental exercises in previous segment and this is a segment that we're going to learn a little bit of healthy meal making from Shami. But before that, would you mind sharing with us like how does an athlete diet look like? So basically I have like an on season and off season. So on season I'll be very strict on my uh, food. Whatever I consume, I'm very very concerned about it. But off season I don't care. You know, I mean food makes you happy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what are we gonna learn making today? I have like a wholemeal bread and tuna for you guys and some fruit. Wow, protein so, and good cups. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Right, it's everyone's favorite time. So let Charmin lead us in this. So, as I say, this now we have like a tuna, uh, bread, wholemeal bread, and uh, what is it? What is inside there? Yeah, <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Something fresh. Whoa! <laughs> you thought it's chicken, right? <laughs> this is better than chicken. So it's just uh, fruit. So yeah. as you all know, so you can add any sauce you want. Uh, mustard, Thousand Island. Uh, and take a piece of bread first. <laughs> you can it use your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Alright! <laughs> 
I think everyone's enjoying yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Actually, I think what we have today is something that is re really easy to prepare. I mean, this is simplest way you can stay healthy, you know? You don't need to cook. Yeah, and... there's no more excuses, you know? There's a lot of op options. Mm -hmm. Let's thank Charmin for this wonderful meal prep session. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you! <laughs> thank you. Before this, actually, I'm a very lazy person. But today, I think I like the first section, which is the workout. Uh, I think it's a six station. Then I will, we rotate each station. And also, I like the mental build-up section. Uh, in that section, I learn how to be more focused when I'm doing one thing. And I think this training will make me more focused while I'm doing my job. My coach showed me how to do the simple diet in, in the healthy way. Before this, I always eat outside. But from today, I think I will change to a more healthy lifestyle. Karate challenge ourselves about the speed, agility, and also the strength. My favorite part on this session is when I got the chance to punch the dummy. For the mental part, we can see that it's helped us to be more focused on what we are doing by eliminates all the disturbances around us. Even with the simple amounts of food, the nutrient that we take also can make it taste better. For my physical, I believe that if we do more physical activities, it can build muscle. For my mentality sides, I become more focused and believe in myself. For my diet part, it can control my weight and it teach me how to choose a perfect diet for my body. I haven't trained uh, karate. It really uh, drains all my stamina. We need to keep on training ourselves so that our stamina will not drain very fast. Before we come to the training, we need to take more of the carbohydrates like uh, the braids and everything to build up the strength. I need to push myself to do some physical activity if I want to achieve my goal. I need to stay focused and avoid any distraction around me. I thought that it's so hard for me to follow the diet. But after this program, I thought that convenient to me to bring to class. So now is the segment that we can actually understand uh, Shamin a little bit more. So I would love to ask, how do you get started in the sports? So I got started when I was a kid, like a 10-year-old. So that's a, every Friday, mm -hmm. uh, just near my house, there's one bed in court. These guys, kids, and come and train. So whenever like uh, I cross by there, like uh, say, what's happening there? Like uh, so, I mean, you know, karate like uh, shouting, ah, how, who, like uh, what's going on there? Let's mm -hmm. go check it out, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just go there and see like what's happening. Like, mm -hmm. uh, looks looks interesting. That's how it start. I go back to my, I mean, go back and ask my mom, say, can I join karate? Say, just go and join. Uh. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, when I grew up, I was doing karate and as football as well. So I was very active in sports mm -hmm. uh, those days in school. When I finish uh, my uh, Secondary school life. after 17, I was preparing for Sukma. This guy was Sukan Selango, mm -hmm. so I represent Selango, and I was preparing for that. Mm -hmm. uh, when I performed decently, they, I mean, all these national coach look at me like I say, "Do you want to join?" I mean, national program. That's how I jump in here. When I was 19, that's how my I came here. And that's how my journey started from here. I see. So like, that's a quite a path um, to be in the national team. Yeah. Right? Just like you go through different competitions, and then you get spotted by like national coach, and yeah. then they invited you. That was quite a journey. I'm pretty sure you put in a lot of time to be a here. Lot, right? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So um, since you said like you have been in this industry for quite a long time already as a national athlete in karate, do you have any plan um, to quit, or do you want to just you know go by and continue focus on? your goal and see how it goes i mean definitely i have like a few plans for now i'll just focus on this year's program we have like a sea games on my may sorry yeah may we have sea games july we have uh, Asian Championship in Malaysia. Oh, in well, Malaysia? Yes, in Malaysia. It will be handover in uh, Malacca. Okay. And uh, October, we have Asian Games in China. Oh. So that's three ultimate goals for me for this year. Mm -hmm. So talking about like um, making our 
general population fitted. Do you have any advice since you are a coach as well? Mm -hmm. So maybe you can give like uh, your perspective as a coach and also athlete. I think it's just healthy lifestyle is just should be part of life. You know, how you eat, how you go to the sleep. I think, I mean, this physical things, it's not about physical, physical things, but just some morning walk. Mm -hmm. I mean, s slow jog, some cycling, mm -hmm. You weekend you go for the hike. Mm -hmm. All this should be just part of life. Nowadays, people have an epic time, you know, mm -hmm. go to the work, come back, eat, sleep. Mm -hmm. I totally understand this. I mean, definitely you can find a way, you know. Mm -hmm. They say like, if you have uh, will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let's say if you just uh, live in a condo, you just still can go on the stairs, uh -huh. few stairs, come down. Yes. Uh, just repeat a few times yeah. until, until you feel tired a bit slowly then if not just walk around a bit mm -hmm. start something slow start easy walk like yeah. a walk, 20 minutes then probably you progress to 30 minutes 40 minutes and then I will so probably then you can start running mm -hmm. if you if you don't like all this you can go swim mm -hmm. and you can do yoga I mean you just I mean everything is accessible now so yeah take it slow don't try to ask please ask those who don't yeah everyone start from somewhere else yeah. and it's always better to have some help when you start because you start with a better idea and like knowledge about yes. something else. Thank you so much Charmin for sharing with us some valuable Pleasure. information you know for us to get started and to maintain our fitness as well. We got this and everybody, everybody can, can get, get fit. fit. I mean I've been exposed to martial art recently but I really had no clue about karate before I met Charmin. Through the activities today I find that karate is definitely a sport that doesn't only require fitness and technique but also some mind games as part of strategy. Charmin has also shed some light on how an athlete diets look like. Something just as simple as wholemeal bread and tuna can already set you a step nearer towards a healthier lifestyle. Understand that there's always limitation in our life but when there's a will, there's a way as we always say. And also through the exercise segment today, we have learned a few moves that can actually be adapted in our daily exercise routine. You doesn't necessarily need to have a partner and you can do some air punch to increase your heart rate. You can also do some squat, push up, or you know, even like the speed ladder workout. You just need to have a pattern of towels that you can jump around as long as you don't hurt yourself through the exercises. All right, so it's my pleasure to have met Charmin today and I hope that he continues soaring high in karate and make Malaysian proud. Lastly, I hope that you join us in getting fit. Everybody can get fit and I see you at the same time next episode.